Hi guys, Nathan from Pride of Villa here. And just before we start the video, uh, we have a sponsor. It's called Fatal Grips. And if you use our code, which is Pride of Villa, it'll just be right there. Um, you'll get 10% off any purchase. And yeah, so let's get on with the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so this video is purely on um, next game, which is Aston Villa versus Chelsea. Um, this game is one of the biggest games, probably. Um, some could argue, but I'd probably say it is, because what's been happening recently, I mean, the last few days have been absolutely stupid and ridiculous for Aston Villa. I mean, there's been news of Jota and um, Drinkwater fighting. Which we really don't want, and my opinion on that is I don't really want Jota. No, I don't really want drink water. Um, I haven't really seen him bring anything to Aston Villa from that first game onwards. He hasn't really been playing either, and we really don't need him. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, you know, if we just brought a youngster on instead, I wouldn't mind that because I really do not see what he brings. And also McGinn's back, so he'll be, he'll be back for uh, Newcastle, I'd say. So, yeah, we will really need him. And if he's just going to start fights and that, then he's just going to have to leave. Because, you know, we're Aston Villa. So, yeah, that's one of the first things I was going to talk about. The second thing is um, Dean Smith. I know there's been a lot of rumours going around that he's probably going to get sacked. And I really do not want it to happen. As much as I um, agree with everyone on their opinions on him, like why he should go and like why he shouldn't go. Um, my reason is, yeah, he is an Aston Villa fan, of course. Look what he did in the championship for us, the unthinkable. But I understand as well, we haven't been doing really good this season. And it's a struggle to even get points nowadays. We can't even win against Southampton. And like, like Ben said, if we can't win against Southampton... Um, Chelsea, Liverpool, who do we beat? Who who are we going to get points from? And um, yeah, if we can't do that, then we really we can't be in the Premier League. But if you if you look at Aston Villa, look how good we are in your Championship compared to the Premier League. In your Championship, we own it, but in the Premier League, we really don't. So um, yeah, I'm standing with Dean still, but if he did leave then, you know, I hope him the best. I really don't want him to get sacked at all, but, you know, I think it might happen one day. And I really am, like, I really do not want it to happen at all. Because it, it probably is going to happen, unless we do get some points from Chelsea. Which me and Ben are actually going to, so look forward to that video on Saturday night, probably. Because we'll, I'll probably get in and just edit it straight away. So yeah, um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is um, upcoming videos. So the upcoming video, as I just said, Saturday we're doing the video. And then uh, I think Ben's uploading, well me and Ben are uploading one tomorrow actually. I've got to do a forfeit because we lost to Leicester City. I've got to uh, do a banana and sprite challenge, which is alright. Probably feels better than losing to Leicester City like that. In the most st stupidest way. I mean, Pepe Arena. I'm not sure if he's even come out and apologised for what he's done. But first time round against Tottenham, I can understand. This is just a stupid mistake. Second time round, what is he doing? And why aren't we starting the island? I mean, what has he got to do to start? I mean, Pepe Arena. Right now, some people can argue it. It's just a name. He's not doing much for us. After all that experience he's had. I mean, so he's 37 and... You know, he's got a lot of experience and we shouldn't be really seeing these types of games from him. But, yeah, I'd definitely start Nyland on the, the game against Chelsea, definitely. And hopefully we see a completely different side. I mean, if we do win that, I'll be very hopeful and probably we might stay up. I'm not sure, but right now he's not really looking good for us. So further on about Dean Smith, um, I just want to say, if he does go... Be sure to know we are going to go down. I think it will happen, even though it depends who we bring in. But whoever it is, still going to go down. Um, ben says um, something about um, Nigel Pulis. 
for a few games, maybe, but I don't know. I, I, I couldn't imagine our club without him right now. I couldn't imagine our club without Dean Smith after everything he's done. And I really just want him to prove everyone wrong. Like, yeah, we have had a few rough games, probably a few too many rough games, but um, after the Carabao Cup's done now, we need to start getting serious. And he needs to tell the squad like how much this means to the fans, really. Because it is the fans who makes the clubs. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go on uh, Saturday night. I think it's it starts at half five. And hopefully we see a different team for Aston Villa. Because if, if we don't show up to that one, I have no hope that we're going to get any other points. Yeah, maybe against Arsenal, Crystal Palace, but I'm still I'm still saying probably they're gonna win if we keep up those stupid performances. Because it is weird seeing how good we are in the Carabao Cup compared to the Premier League. I do not know why there is a difference, and it is really frustrating at the moment. But all we can do is hope for the best and hope John Terry, Dean Smith, and all all the other people around the squad can really get us through this. Because if we do stay up, oh my god, it will be an absolute dream. And then the transfer season can happen again. We're going to get some actual good players this time. No one is just going to mess around. Because, you know, Gilbert, I do really like him. But that game, where was he? What was he doing? Pepe Reina, like him. But still, he's just having stu stupid moments. He's having too many stupid games. And he just needs to win. Um, you know, there has been a few good uh, decisions, like transfers. Like Nakamba, at first he was really just not good. I'm seeing a very big change from him right now. He's been really good at the moment. And I really hope he stays with us, if we do go down or we stay up. Jota, I want to see him on. I don't know where he's been. I didn't even know he's still in the squad. But I really do want him to be on that bench for Chelsea, maybe. Because last game, our bench did not look good at all. There was just no one to put on at all. So we need to start getting these good players on the bench, on the squad. And yep, yeah, I mean, when McGinn's back, there'll be a completely different change, I'd say. Most Villa fans are just hoping for the best when he comes back and, and you know, have some faith in the club. But right now, it's just not looking good for us. It's not looking good. I'm, I'm always positive, and you know that. Um, ben always knows that Ben gets quite mad with me sometimes, but you know, I understand it. I understand it completely right now, to be honest. But yeah, right now, if you would ask me if I still have hope, yeah, I do. I still have hope, but if we do lose to Chelsea, be sure to uh, be sure to um, wait for a new video on me and Ben absolutely going mad because it's Chelsea at home. Um, her Tammy Abraham might not be playing. That goes for us, but as you say, anything that goes for us, obviously, we do not win. Like, for example, when we were against Arsenal, I think, um, they were down to 10 men, and we just capitulated just like that. Even though it was a, great, it was like a really good game. But, you know, that's Aston Villa for you. So that's really all I've got to say. Um, be sure to see the video tomorrow from me and Ben for the Banana Sprite Challenge. Tomorrow we'll be filming two videos, that challenge and the upcoming preview for the um, Chelsea game. So I hope you liked the video, guys. Um, that was just some of my thoughts. And um, like, subscribe, tell your friends about our channel because we really want to grow at the moment. We've got a sponsor. We're doing good on views, I'd say. I mean, we need to hit 1,000 views, so thank you for that. Um, probably because of how mad we were last video, I'm not going to lie. But we had good reason to be, because like 4-0 against us from Leicester. I know they're a good side, but it's not acceptable anymore. It really isn't. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys, and up the villa.